Hello, my name is Toland Rhodes, and this is Shark's Tank. Let's cut to the wide. Ah. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. As I said before, my name is Toland Rhodes. I am the youngest billionaire born under Pisces, and I invented a straw. I invented a straw. When you drink from it, it lights up and plays Starships by Nicki Minaj. Today, we'll be hearing pitches from some folks who will be just across from us, right over there. They'll be pitching some brand new products that uh, one of us may choose to invest in. Okay, these are untested, untried products. And uh, we'll be basically hearing their pitches, seeing what we think. And uh, I'm not alone, of course. I'm here with my two other sharks for the evening. We'll start with the shark to my right. Hello, everybody. Uh, Will Menneker here. Uh, I've uh, recently come into some uh, money that I'm looking to invest. I'm hoping to do some deals here today. I've obviously gotten very wealthy and famous, um, selling out the hopes and dreams of my generation to the internet. So uh, hopefully um, we'll just uh, hear some good pitches today and hopefully I can uh, make some dreams or crush and destroy them. Terrific. That is the binary at the end of the day. Are we, are we granting wishes or are we sending people home in tears? Uh, let's hear from the shark to my left. Uh, hi, my name is Chris Wade uh, and I'm just here to have a good time. <laughs> okay, kind of uh, undercutting the central conceit of the program that was just established, but that's fine, doesn't matter. Uh, so basically you folks watching at home are also in a sense, part of the shark pod. You know, you'll also be contributing to this program, helping us to discern where the money is. There are a number of ways you can do so this evening. If you subscribe, you can actually submit your own pitch and we'll we'll uh, get a live reaction here from the other two sharks. Here's one from last time. Grinder, but for straights. Thank you, Tywin. Straighties, excuse me. It's a good idea. So we thought it was a great idea last time. So uh, let's get some more hard. great ideas out there, okay? So if you subscribe, you can do that. If we get 35 subscriptions, we'll go to a masterclass where we'll hear from some of the best business minds in this country on uh, how they achieved their success, okay? For $5, we'll get a celebrity endorsement. All of these products have been endorsed by celebrities. You can let us know which celebrity and they'll come on out and give their endorsement in the middle of the pitch. And uh, I believe that is pretty much everything. Do I have everything? Is that yeah. everything? You gotta say everyone's name. Oh, okay. I guess we have to do that. Uh, BM Will, Montreal, Naked Comedy, Rome Too Dank, Stelpa 6, Rarely Asleep, Dry Shot, Rob Man 1978, McCoy F4F, Davram 1, Yarkasm, Asher Wood, uh, F Alexander, Triple R, this is social interaction. Oh, wow. A lot of people. Go, go, gadget 360, 100 Jeds, The Remover, Grass Dragon, Who Knew TV, Surreal Chemist, Mike from Space, Hey, it's Aaron, Weaves. Okay, and the rest. So, without further ado, let's hear from our first pitch. Hi, Sharks. Uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, meeting with me today. Uh, I have a background in the film industry. I uh, used to do some production assistant stuff. I was actually a producer's assistant on the original Fantastic Four movies, but I'm very excited. I have a new uh, idea that I think is really going to change the game and help me break into a new industry. This is the Jessica Alba fast, uh, Fantastic Four movies? Yes. Yes. Noted. Okay. Let's get into it. Oh. Y'all want to see a dead body? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, very much. Show yeah, me the great. Body. I would like to hear more. I would like great. to hear more. Great. Great. I'm so happy there's an initial enthusiasm about this. I'm Cash Warren. It's really nice to meet all of you. Uh, let's get into it right now. What? I heard there's a dead body at the Crick. Nobody <laughs> knows the guy, but it looks like he's not moving. <laughs> Can you imagine if there was a dead body at the Crick and we found it together? Is this a photograph of the dead body that's there on the slide? No, that is the first image when you search dead body cartoon on Google Images. Okay. That is the first <laughs> image that comes up. Hmm. Surprise uh, it's not okay, like Brian uh, or something. Uh, first family. question here. The first question here. What's if up, I if I if I invest in the do you want to see a dead body down by the crick uh, uh initiative here, 
will I get any input in whose dead body it is that I will look at down by the crick? I'm very glad you asked that, Will. It's really important we all get on the same page about this. I have no idea what is at the crick right now. <laughs> I was at the big yeah, tire. I was at the big tire, and I was talking to Brandon, and he said he saw the dead body at the crick. I haven't seen it myself, and I told him, no way. No way you saw a dead body at the crick. He said, uh-huh. He said, if you go just past the waterfall, you'll actually see it yourself. You can go there right now, and it will be there. Okay, so point so, of clarification, uh, ca Cash or Warren? Uh, cash I, I Warren. What your name is. Cash Warren, Cash. Point of clarification, Cash. What you are actually pitching us is perhaps an expedition of types, an uh, a activity-based experience uh, in which we all go find the dead body by the crick or, together. I'm, I'm so glad you're sort of sensing where I'm going with this, but if you'll allow me, I, I want to get a little further yeah. into the presentation. Yeah. All right, let's move on a little bit here. Why see a dead body? Now, I put this slide in thinking I'd have to convince you guys, but I've, it feels like all three of you are immediately in. I'm still on the fence. You're on the fence, Middle Shark? Yes. Great. So I'm going to read these quotes now. Analysis of death... Oh, God, it's so hard to see from this angle, so I'm going to have our people punch in so slightly so that I'm able to read this. Analysis of death is not for the sake of becoming fearful, but to appreciate this precious lifetime. I have now decided that my death should be very precious. I really want to use it. I'd like my death to be as interesting as my life has been and will be. And sadly, that's David Bowie, who had one of the least remarkable deaths I can think of. Just sort of <laughs> happened one day. We all just we all just heard about it on Twitter and just sort of went about our day. Totally unremarkable death, that's so sad. Last quote, if you die and no one buries your body, then the devil will come and use your body to scare people, and that's where ghosts come from. Who's Marshall? Marshall is a good friend of mine. Mm. Mm. Sage. Mm. Okay, so uh, what, what, what you're really pitching us here is uh, we, inv we invest and in return, we receive the possibility of seeing a dead body down by the creek. You'll be receiving more than that. There's a dead body guarantee. Uh, by here. the crick. Okay, all right. The crick. By the crick. the crick. And I have been told that the crick is actually a, a peninsula that leads to a lake. I I just call <laughs> bodies of water the crick. For me, a body of water okay. is a crick. Yeah. And I want to get on the same page about that. Will, to get to your point, there is quite a bit in this for you. This slide is sort of uh, the call to action. We can analyze our own lives right here and right now. We can have a spectacular life studying death, and we can prevent a ghost from hurting people. So with that being said, if we all feel bought in and ready to go, I'm gonna go to my next slide. How do we pull this off? As we all know, there's a small path in the woods that leads to the crick. If you take that path, you avoid main roads, so less people will see you and potentially get you in trouble. And once you're at the crick, it's simply a matter of crossing the waterfall without getting hurt. If I were to do this with a really scared fat kid, like one of the, one of the members of like a trio of kids that I hang out with. Sure, sure. Is he gonna be a big baby about crossing the waterfall? I would anticipate him being a big baby about crossing the waterfall, but if I may, I don't think that's wrong necessarily. Be careful on the waterfall. No showboating on the waterfall. Yeah. I don't know how many times I'll have to say this, but rest assured, I will be saying it more. Mm. After what happened to Drayden, we cannot be showboating on the waterfall. Wow, Drayden. He was a funny and charismatic yeah. guy. Waterfall he looks fun. He was Drayden. an incredibly funny and charismatic guy. And he was being funny and charismatic right there on that waterfall. And then what happened? Did he fall and get hurt? Yeah. Okay. He fell in the, and he, yep. Wow. Okay. Uh, uh, I, 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 got, I, I just have to interject here. I got, I got, an, I got another, I got another potential issue here. Okay. So okay. you're saying Drayden fell off the waterfall. There could be some uh, waterfall issues on the way to see the dead body at the creek. But what if, what if, like, let's say I go to the creek to see the dead body, but then you or some of the, like, uh, scarier older boys from the town I live in with flick yep. knives and, like, you know, who told me where they, like, what if they're there to, like, abuse That's and torment point. me while I go, while, like, I go to see the That's dead body really and then there is, you know, there's a guy with a leather jacket, a flick knife, and he's going to, you know, do be a, some yeah. sort of sadistic teenager to me. Well, 
That's a really good point, Will, and I'm glad you brought that up. There is a slide coming up later where I'm going to talk about what, what I bring to the table. But one of the most important things I bring to the table is that my cousin is 12 years older than us. <laughs> and if everyone, anyone starts messing with us, I can go, I got a cousin. A really good resource. Yeah. I'm sorry, this is hard That's... for me. <laughs> what if the tough kid, what if the tough kid says, oh, well, he's at college, he can't help you, punk. And then he branches the <laughs> He night. goes to state. It's not a far drive. He goes to state. He can get here really fast. Nobody really believes you, I don't think, in this situation. I just, I'm just, I'm putting myself in the shoes of this tormenting, you know, scary little kid. I'm thinking you may need to... I, I have to agree, if I was to be enticed into this offer, I would need some proof of existence of the older cousin. Yeah. I mean, my I mean, if you go on YouTube right now and you search cool dirt bike stunt, 14 <laughs> and then it's dated march 28th 2021 that's him how many views does that video have 14 okay. last i checked gotcha ironic because it's the number it is can i get back into my presentation i'm sorry i got all yeah, fucked up please, about drayden please go ahead no and we do have two it sounds like we have two celebrities yeah, coming in to endorse your we have product one that we can definitely do and one that is gonna be real tough okay well, I'm we'll see. We'll see it. what the hell that means. Let's see what the hell well, that. I think means. we're ready for our first. Yeah, we'll have the right, first. Cool. Uh, you're the first of your two celebrities yeah. come I, out. I, I hope this sort product. of makes my case a little bit. Okay, I'm sure it will. Let's see. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm now distracted watching dirt bike stunts on YouTube. So right, it's going to be please a come back. To okay, just put it in the lower third of your screen, like you're watching. Uh, what's the subway <laughs> uh, surfers? And it just. <laughs> Can we? Uh... Can okay, I can, I can get is? in on that. Yeah, <laughs> we know who this is. I don't know who that we is. all know who this is. I am Paul Mordiotrades. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. The cheese is because Mordiot means desert mouse. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I, I use this to signify that I am the desert mouse, Paul Mordiotrades. Paul, I loved what you did with, with Arrakis. <laughs> Oh God, is that a knife? Oh, yeah. yes, of course. Wow. May, may thy it. knife chip and shatter. I can't... Uh, well, it did, may thy knife chip I and shatter. I can't read it. I can't read it. It's not that I'm illiterate. It's that I don't really have time and I don't want to pay for an Audible subscription. So could you do me a favor? <laughs> I don't know anything about your whole deal. What's, why should we listen to you? I've seen a lot of dead bodies. Okay. Well, who's this? Oh, I have waged now, holy this? war across, the, across the galaxy. I'm Who? <laughs> Who? I'm Fade, Fade Rotham. It's Austin Butler. I'm fucking Baron Arkanen, man. Baron Arkanen. Okay, <laughs> can we stay on that side of the set, please? One, man. I have waged a holy war that has killed billions across the galaxy. What's one Bad more? That's sick, man. I What's kill women more? every day. Let's go see a dead body, can, can everyone. Can you just say, like, I want to go to the crick? I want to go to the crick and <laughs> put a dead body. I, I killed the person who was on the crick. I am Paul. I killed you them. killed Drayden? I am Paul Moore, I David Drayden. Yeah, Austin exactly. Butler and, and Drew, dude, too. You crick. killed Drayden? Uh, I, I, I have a question <laughs> we'll for Paul Moore, David Drayden. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you you have killed billions in an intergalactic jihad. Yes. Uh, so can I ask you for your expert advice? Yes. Is it like totally sick to see a dead body? Yeah, it's so sick. I mean, one <laughs> one is not very much. Yes. I've seen a lot more. I've seen okay. so many. But but if you haven't seen any, you should start with one. I yeah. say let's all go okay. down to the crick yeah. and see the dead body. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got, we're fighting. This, this news to me. We're got, always fighting. They got white twinks doing jihad now. That's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Let's see what we can do about getting back to the pitch. Because. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Paul. Thank All you, Paul. Thank you, Paul and Austin Butler. Thank, thank, thank you so much. We have another celebrity that I'm going to try to get prepared. We'll see how Ooh, we do okay. this one. Someone in the chat said, Creek! So that's my sign that we get back on the pitch here. So yes. continue. I'm so sorry for, right. well, I guess it was an interruption there. They're, they're I, did bring, I did bring them. Yeah, I yeah, apologize for bringing two people from the Jay Dune Jay universe. Jay yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, they, you can't see it, but they're really they're really fighting a lot just off camera. Yeah, <laughs> but you, can't, you can't see it, but they're really fighting. They're going at it. They're really. working up a big cloud of dust, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm seeing arms and legs popping out as they fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that dust, maybe that dust is, uh, what's the thing from Dune? Spice. The spice. Maybe the dust is spice. The spice now that's funny. Great, let's go back to my presentation. 
while we get ready for this next person I have paid to come here. All right, we've established to be careful on the waterfall. Let's get into how we're gonna pull this off. What do we need? Okay, we all know the bus doesn't go past Maple Avenue on weekends. I'm busy during the week because I have dumb wife crap. But there's another way. Oh, and also Artie has plantar fasciitis. Artie's gonna be coming with us. Sam J and Sam F are also gonna be coming with us. So it's gonna be whichever one of you wants to invest, me, Artie, Sam J, Sam F. That's gonna be the squad. And we can only do weekends, again, because of my dumb wife. I really apologize about that. Is that a photo of your wife? Yes. I had to go on Getty Images to get it, but okay. it is a photo of my wife. <laughs> Looks a lot like Jessica Alba. Just saying. I'd rather not get into my family. I'm not here to talk about my family. Okay. Is that? Yeah, you're good. we're good, continue. People often want to talk to me about Jessica and I'm here to talk about me and my presentation. So your wife like you is want to Jessica talk Alba. Jessica. What's up? It seems like you want it's, to talk about Jessica. No, I would rather not talk about Jessica. You brought her up. No, I didn't bring her up. You <laughs> said, is that Jessica Alba? You mentioned your dumb well, wife. You put a photo of her. And then I put a photo of her in the presentation. In the, yeah. I'm sorry, all my slides have photos in them. That's okay. not, I had to put a photo for one, and this is a dumb wife. This is my wife. I, I mean, put her like in a it. photo of like an x ray of plantar fasciitis. That could have been something. What does that even hey, look uh, like? I don't real know. quick, real quick, if if I join the squad, can I talk to your wife about her TV series, Dark Angel? Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, you oh, can. I mean, I'd rather you not, but you can, if you really need to. Yeah. It was sick. It it should it should have should have gone longer than it did. I I appreciate I that, guys. Like, can, I, can I pitch her some ideas on like spec scripts that I wrote for Dark Angel? If I'm gonna be honest, guys, like the crick is not about girls, like the crick. The, the cri we're not supposed right, to be talking out. about girls right I'm now. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Cash, I still, I still support your vision. I, I still fuck with your vision here. Uh, this dead body, it is enticing. The possibility of it, uh, I would like to confront. Uh, I, I would like to examine the possibility of confronting uh, mortality through the po through gazing into the eyes of a deceased human being. So, yep, um, yep. continue, please. Okay. A lot of you, I'm sensing, don't believe that my wife is Jessica Alba. I all, don't. All I'm gonna say is Google right now, Cash Warren. <laughs> <laughs> is this gonna lead to me watching more dirt bike videos? Well played. Well, Just well Google played. Cash Warren. I was a producer's assistant on Fantastic Four. <laughs> That's where we met. Why do we have to talk about this? You brought it up again. I just, go ahead. Can, all right. Continue, please. All right. What do we need? We can't get there on foot, we've established. So, a car. Mm -hmm. We can't get to the crick on the weekends without a car. Mm -hmm. So we need to get a car. What does it sound like? What are you saying? What does that sound like? Oh yeah, can we punch it on this slide? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're asking me what it sounds like? Yeah. Basically it goes like, <laughs> And then one of the guys has a gun and he's like, pow, pow, pow. I mean, wait, hold on a second. Hang on, hang on, Will. <laughs> you got tracks for that ish, brother? What's up? You got tracks for that ish? Sorry, that's just a hobby of mine. Do you have tracks for it? What does like, that mean? Do you have tracks? Can you put it on like a Hot Wheels track? Can you put it? Do you have a Hot Wheels track? I need a use? real car. I don't need a fucking Hot Wheel. I, I have a real car. I have a real car. If, I mean, if like, that's what you need to see a dead body, I have a real car. If that's oh, like, that's interesting. To, inve in, to invest in this, I mean, I, I could provide a car theoretically, but I'm gonna need. I mean, like, I you know, I, I really, I said I was out when you said this wasn't about girls, and I thought, you know, if I'm gonna see a dead body, I, I'm gonna tell girls about it. You tell, um, you tell I mean, girls I, about I, it after. I, I, Will, of course, you tell girls about it yeah. after. But the, okay. the trip's not about right. the girls. The trip's about the boys. All right. All right, well, I have, uh, I have a we we'll cash to bring up. Okay, great. We really need to bring this celebrity in. And, and they're, they're super busy, so we don't have a lot of time great. with them. Great. Let's make it quick. Come on out. Nope. <laughs> hey, it's me, OJ Simpson. Yep. And I'm here to be yours. Find the body down by the creek. Um, I. 
A lot of people under your mic, OJ. Under there. your mic. A lot of people think that, um, you know, OJ Simpson killed those that lady and her gay friend. Did you? And, did you? Oh, uh, I did. Not the famous footballer. I'm <laughs> I'm the OJ Simpson. So you're a different person because <laughs> that son of a bitch stole oh. my gloves. <laughs> and, and, and I just can't shit for it. So I'm gonna give you this right here, okay. and I'm gonna give give you give you these, and oh. you give them to the cops when they come in a little bit. <laughs> right now, okay. I would have definitely done, go see that body down by the creek. I killed another one uh, of those gay guys who's a waiter down at the <laughs> Charlie house, you know? All right, bye bye. Thanks, OJ. Wow, that really made me want to invest in your product. Mm. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you so much for listening to that uh, ringing endorsement from my friend, murderer OJ Simpson. Not that one, otherwise, not notable. Thank yeah. you so much for your to you. Sorry, OJ. Sorry, hey, OJ. Okay. Cash warrant. Cash warrant. <laughs> Sorry. One time Geico employee of the month, OJ Simpson. Sorry. <laughs> Manager, you <laughs> OJ, I got to move on. I'm sorry, OJ. Can we have you hold those objects for the remainder no, of your pitch? No, okay. I think it's best right. I don't, just for demonetization purposes. Okay. It's already going to be demonetized. I don't know about that. that. Okay. We're not making any fucking money on this. We shit. need a car. Now, Will, it's cool you have your own car to provide. That's actually sick as hell. I didn't know that that was even possible. So the rest of my presentation, just bear with me on this, but then I'm interested in kind of getting down into that. But we need a car, right? <laughs> So what am I bringing to the table? We talked about this earlier. I have extensive knowledge of the Crick. I've been there a million times. I know everything about it. Uh, I have a good relationship with Ms. Spooner from the market. If we need to hide, if we need to say like, hey, Ms. Spooner, just tell them you saw us here. Like, she's really cool. She's like really cool and nice and she likes me. So we would we would definitely be able to like use her as a resource, but I, I have to be there because she's I'm the one she trusts. I also will be bringing my brother's Swiss Army knife. Maybe that will help us with the leather jacket bullies. Just to have the knife might deter them. It's just another thing. We do always have my cousin as a fallback option. And I'll also, also if you need to open, if you need to open bottles or anything, yep. uh, the Swiss Army knife will also help with That's that. True. Yup. Maybe we get, maybe we get four, maybe we get five glass bottle cokes, and we just walk them. We walk down there sipping on them. We do have a brand new sponsor for the show that we'll be taking a look at in just a moment. Before before we do, I do have one more question for you. Sure. Um, if we got lost along the way, would we be able to use the Swiss Army Knife to start a fire? Yeah, if you know how to do that. <laughs> okay. I I don't. But, okay. <laughs> if someone if 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 someone does, yeah. Okay. Then we would. Does the Swiss Army Knife have a magnifying glass attachment? No, it's one of those like smaller. It has like six things, so we don't even get to kill it's ants. It's not the big. So we don't even one. get to kill okay, ants. Great. It's not the big, big one. It's like the travel pack yeah, one. Hey, Tony. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Sponsor. Oh, we have so tonight's sponsor. Let's take a look at tonight's sponsor, Glass Bottom Cars. Oh, cool. In case you want to see that oil <laughs> spot. That's actually sick well, as hell. Yeah, you know what? The the, the, the fatal uh, move of being sponsored by a product more interesting than the one that you're selling. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you probably really not a great call. Lit into that mother. Um, <laughs> let's get into the offer. How big is the poking stick? Uh, this. It's perfect. I found this thing a couple days ago. It's perfect. Okay. I've been keeping it like in my house just for the chance to need it. It's perfect. Okay. All right. Um, let's get into your offer. What's in this for you all, other than the trip and how fun it will be? Inevitably, something will happen in this day. I don't know. And you will get some of that. What that is, I don't know. But life doesn't, you know, we don't have the day written out for us ready to go. Maybe we'll find some stuff. Maybe someone will offer to let us paint the fence. And then we can get a little more money. Thank you, Anonymous. Speaking of a little more money. And, and that money, that's going to you under this specific formula. So my ask is a, a 20,000 a $200,000 investment for a 20% equity, which I figure is fair. There's five of us mm -hmm. and sort of split down the middle after 4% mm -hmm. advisory shares, as well as, can we cut back just for one second, a $47,891.71 <laughs> loan 
at 4.3% interest. Can you give us a, an itemized breakdown of where those costs are gonna go? I'm so happy you asked that. I know you're probably, <laughs> also this Beyblades picture, unrelated. Just wanted to get a picture on there, love a good Beyblade. Oh, fuck me, what, what, okay, what the well, fuck? That, that actually, yeah, I would, I'm beginning to suspect that there might be Beyblades out there in the in the woods down by the creek. Sharks, sharks, here's what I'll say. The Beyblade picture is unrelated, but this is a photo I took. I own these in my house. So if we're all hanging out, these are up for grabs. Those are fucking sick. To be played with. Those are to be played sick. with. So not are you taken. offering that the Beyblade playing might be part of the potential experience afterwards? Totally. Perhaps we see the dead body. Chris, it's a great example. Lifelong but are we? But here's, Walk but here's the back, question. Eat the glass, glass bottle Cokes, play some Beyblade. Oh, are we even so gonna want to play with toy if we have this weird, crazy stuff happen to us? Or are we gonna become adults like together? Who knows? But all I know is that I hope there's never a point in my life where I don't find Beyblades fun. That's all I can say for myself. And for you, I don't know what your life's about, Shark. Now, I want to get into this. Why this specific number? Why 247,000, not stop zooming in away from the number that I'm currently reading, $247,891.74. Why that exact number? I'm not gonna waste your time and come to you and say, no, I need $250,000. I don't need $250,000. I need that exact number. And the reason is, <laughs> let's get into a breakdown. I think we should buy a car, a car. When I looked it up, I found this thing. <laughs> Go back to it. A new 2013 Ashton Martin DBX. So I calculated that cost. I'm going to ask you no longer cut away from the slide for the remainder of this slide. Okay? I'm going to ask you stay here for the remainder of this slide. Not at me. Not where we currently are. Stop doing that. I'm going to ask you stop doing that. But you look so nice. What? You look so nice. I look nice? Yeah, you look great. What the fuck are you talking about? It's selling. It's selling. The Can we go back to the slide, the radio, please? Come on. You're the face of this business. I, so actually, like I would it's... like to see more of him. Yeah, can we punch in on him? More. <laughs> nice. Talk more about the yeah. car. Talk more about the car. I need the stuff. numbers. It's on my, the numbers are on my slide. Thank you. Okay, okay, yeah, the right. entrepreneur's got to have the numbers it. in his head. i be relying yeah. on slides. Yes. Yeah. Have, Will, when you see the breakdown, you'll understand why I had to be this thorough. Please cut to the numbers. Okay. Okay. Stop doing that. <laughs> Stay on the numbers. <laughs> That's where I like it, right there. This whole fucking I can see room. the energy of the pitch. <laughs> Sweating like a fucking pig in here. You've got some red in your mustache. That's interesting. It gets in my hair. In the summer, it gets in my hair too. Look, I don't want to get into that. I've noticed that before last summer. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so Thank sad. you, Grace. So Thank you Thanks for doing that. Thank you. Let's get into the breakdown of the numbers. Okay, the car costs $247,886. We have to get lunch on the way. We have to go to Silly's and get lunch, okay? We have to go to Silly's Diner and get lunch. I sort of priced this all out for us. We're gonna get five. Uh, uh, the, unfortunately, the ham and tomato sandwich is not in season right now. So we're gonna get five tuna and boiled egg double-decker sandwiches. Cut back to the menu. <laughs> Cut to the fucking menu. Now, stop it. Stop it. Stop doing this. I'm kind of feeling Sonic. Can we go to Sonic? Stop it. We're going to Silly's Diner. We're gonna get- I'm gonna Bob's, we go to Bob's. We're gonna get the tuna and boiled egg triple decker sandwiches. Now, I know that Coke is listed as a dessert on this menu, but I personally think it's a beverage. So I think we get five Coke a la modes as well as our tuna and boiled egg triple decker sandwiches, and that you can see the original cost calculations being done at the top there. And you're probably wondering what's, stop, stop. We had it. You're probably wondering, what's this number here? Well, if we're gonna go all the way down to the crick, we might as well get some donuts to take home. Yes, for simply 40 mm -hmm. cents, we can get a dozen plain donuts to take with us and eat on the way there. And because that's counter service, you don't have to tip on that. So I've made that calculation there as well. That brings us out to exactly $5.47. Sorry, 74 cents. You add those together and this is the number you get. Okay. Stop. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh. Are we gonna have enough time at the restaurant? Because I could see a world where that same aforementioned fat kid friend is like, 
But my, my, I'm so hu hu hungry. I can't g g g go without finishing my, 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 my Coke float. Are we going to have enough time at the restaurant to get him full? Yes, yeah. yes. We can make sure that we don't. And, and if he really starts to make a big deal about it, we tell him we're taking the dozen donuts to go. And there's five of us. So someone's going to get it, you know, and two people are going to get an extra donut. You can be one of them. OK, what if he looks at me and he goes, could, could I have your, 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 your donut? That's your call, Shark. OK. That's your call to make based okay. on your relationship with him. Gotcha. Uh, could, could, I mean, could I be cruel to him based on his uh, his weight and appearance? Once again, Shark, that's like, your call you know, to make. A, you know, a sort of a, like a childhood bonding kind of way. Shark, if you can do that in a way that brings you closer to him, absolutely. I will caution you that people who are teased for their weight as a child by their friends, they don't like that. Doesn't make them feel good. Yeah, but they end up being beautiful later. From Not, the, from no, I wouldn't. Eating. I don't think that's the message we want to send. Uh, well, anyway, my presentation's done, so. That's it? Uh, yeah, what? Good. Get Once I'm uh, closer. finished yeah. eating, I'm going to be uh, pretty disgusted by food, especially if we're going to see a dead body. Will you guarantee as part of your pitch that you will carry the donuts to go after the uh, the dinner or the lunch? But to me, this is part of the negotiation, but I'm willing to I'm willing to put that on the table for the negotiation. <laughs> absolutely, because right, that's going to be non-negotiable to me. I don't want to be carrying sugary donuts if I'm going to look at a dead body. These aren't sugary. Oh, sorry, Chris. Have you never been to Silly's? Oh, are these savory donuts? No, these are just plain. On their, their punching on the menu again. Just fucking Jesus. There fucking we go. Christ. Yes. Keep, yes. Like hey, can you exactly watch your language? right there. Can you watch I, your language, please? I never do this shit on Fantastic Four. All right, all right, Cash. Um, I want. I want to say uh, that was, that was a great pitch. That was a great. That was a great presentation. It was. Uh, it was all. It was well put together, and you made a really good, a really good case for going to the crick to see this dead body. Here's my problem, though. What's proprietary about seeing a dead body down by the creek? Because I've already established that I already have a car. That's one third of what you need to see a dead body at the creek with are your you, friends. Will, I've are you saying the big box stores car. are going to eat I'm my lunch? No, I'm saying I'm going to eat your lunch. I'm a rich person. I can have someone killed tomorrow. I can create my own dead bodies to take my friends to go look at. There's nothing proprietary about killing someone or looking at, at a, a body. And I already have a car, so I, I'm just gonna go do this myself. Uh, I'm, and you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll eat your, I'm eating your lunch right here because you didn't copyright. You own the IP on death or seeing uh, or witnessing mortality. Can I, I don't think a, so. Can I make I a retort? So. May I, re may I respond to this? Yeah, sure. Go. Please, please zoom out. Please zoom out. This is important. It's important you see my face for this. Okay, if I could respond. Yeah, go ahead. You're gonna, you're gonna go. You're gonna go to the crick without me, even though it was my. It was my idea to go to the crick, and you want to. You're gonna go you're, without you're me because I thought we would all go together, and it'd be a really fun time. We. Well, I mean, like, it seems like the crick is the only thing that you actually uh, own any copyright over. So, like, I'm gonna, I'm I gonna leave the, the crick, crick out of it. Okay, we well, don't own anything here. What? what all right. So, I mean, so you're not even like if you could if you could guarantee like if you could produce a dead body, if this is a repeat experience. You could keep filling the crick with dead bodies. You know, like uh, they're, they're, this business can grow. This business well, can grow and maybe franchise out to other cities. You know, there are people who I'm, I'm going to have to come in and step everywhere. on Mr. I'm going to get, come and step on Mr. Wilderful's uh, take on this because uh, I do think that there is. There is something proprietary right. about this, and it is the uh, the time spent with Cat Mr. Cash Warren himself. Uh, a friendship time that could money. last an time afternoon. Time is money, Chris. Time is money. Stretch a I, lifetime. I, I'm spending time. I got to be making money. I'm, I'm putting Forcing investment on money. a fr on a friendship and an experience that could go, uh, you know, past either of our two lives onto our children's lives potentially, Shards, depending Shards. on about how good of a friendship we uh, we we birth in this afternoon down by the creek. Shards, and the, the added trauma of being a de dead body, that sounds like instant bonding. Um, um, Chris, that was a, a really lovely point, but Sharks, I hate seeing you fight like this. This is not why I came here. I came here to see a dead body. I, I don't want to see you two get mad at each other. <laughs> what do we say about this? We're going to have to raise these numbers. Just stop doing that. We're going to have to raise these numbers just ever so slightly. Will, Chris, why don't both of you Take this as a joint offer, and all of us will go find a dead body together. 
And you know what I think is going to happen at the end of that day, Will and Chris? I think you two Why are going to find included? yourself- shut, shut the fuck up. I think you two are going to find yourselves arguing less and laughing more. I think, Cash, you know, I, I, I'm you, ready to put in at this moment exactly one half of now may I see the slide. Can we, can we cut to the slide? And please don't show cut me, to the close-up of my show me the slide. <laughs> show me. I would like to see the slide. Uh, I I'm ready to put in half of 247, 891, and 74 cents for one half of the experiment, the experience if my esteemed colleague Will Meneker goes in for the other half. My only caveat is I will need my double-decker tuna and boiled egg sandwich comped for the day. Well, I mean, I don't know how I feel about I don't know how I feel about, you know, getting in a time machine to go to a diner from 1941 to eat hard-boiled <laughs> eggs and go look at a body. Um, but you Will, know, like you wet my appetite for uh, staring into the abyss, and I think I'd have more fun if I just uh, produced a dead body myself. If I took a life rather than just saw the after effects of a, a murder or accident or something like that. So, I mean, like, I, I think uh, man is the deadliest game of all, and I could go to Silly's perhaps after hunting someone for sport. Perfect, but, let's wrap uh, this right this, now. I, I, just, yeah, I have right. it right now, Will, right, based I, on that, I got you, right here. We go to the Crick, six of us, all together. When we get there, you can murder Chris. Whoa. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, if you do awkward, own the IP to you know, Will's like, rights to murder yeah. me. Oh, you can murder Sam F? I don't know. I'm just like, right. you, I would rather you not murder me. May I interject? Right. Sure. Because you haven't even heard whether or not I, I'm, I'm on board yet. Yeah. Okay. First of mm -hmm. all, I'd like to issue a correction. It's my understanding based on the pitch deck that you sent us earlier that you and your friends actually do own a portion of the land around the creek, uh, a portion of the creek that you call Pirate's Island. I would rather not take that to a lawyer. Okay. I would, I'd rather not get into a situation where I have to produce documentation, but yes, you're not supposed to go there unless you're part of me and my okay. friends. Okay, I understand, I see. <laughs> Now, if I have to bring my little right, brother right. with me, if, if I can get a, if is, I can get is a that right transferable? In Pirate Island. Oh, yeah, okay. If I can get a controlling okay. stake in Pirate Island, I'm back in on the deal. Chris, Will, I'm giving you two both a controlling stake in Pirate Island. This We're going to split this, this down the middle. Mm -hmm. okay. We're going to split this down the middle. Except, uh, uh, fuck it, Chris, I'll pay for your uh, triple decker sandwich. I'll pay for it. I'm in. I'm in on that. If if if, if Mr. Wilderful is in, I'm in. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold yeah. on a second. I'm not just gonna stand by and watch this transpire. Okay. Without getting getting my own, you know, foot in the door. All right. I will double the requested amount of money. Double it for a 100%. I'm just. I'm. These two are no longer involved. It's just me and you. I'm gonna double the money that you're asking for if along the way we can experiment with each other sexually and then never talk to each other again after this summer afternoon when this happens. <laughs> Sharks, I don't need any more money than the amount of money I asked for. The amount of money I asked for is the amount of money I need. Also, you can do anything with that money. Also, right. I've already done all that stuff and I'm not going to do it anymore. Okay, sure. Because I figured out I'm not into Okay, it. with who? who? Who have you done it with? Do we really have to do this right now? Prove it. We got to move on. Okay, we got to move on. Whatever. It was one of the Sams, but I'm not gonna say which for his privacy. Okay, whatever. I'm taking Will and Chris's offer. It's fine. Will and Chris, it's fine. I will see you boys this weekend. Bring your trunks. Excellent. We will. I, I can't wait. I, you know, I'm. Uh, yeah, and I, you know, like I think there could be, uh, you know, like some we could bring some outside investors in as well. I think there's potentially some uh, military and defense applications for seeing dead bodies <laughs> and having fun with your friends doing it. Uh, yes. Yeah, Will. I'll leave you to all the CIA stuff as usual, but I don't know anything about that. So that's that's your call. What you do with that. Um, Come on. I think that's it for me, right? Thanks yeah. so much. Yep. Thank you for your Thank time. Thank you all so much. Thank you for your time. Google me, Cash Warren. I'm married to Jessica Alba. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, I, I, well, I, I think. I'm a... Go ahead. I I would just I, th I think that that was some excellent uh, duo uh, team investing there. I'm looking forward to uh, a little death and tuna with you next weekend. <laughs> okay. Well, folks. Uh... In case you thought that was all there was in the docket, you're mistaken. We actually have some viewer submitted pitches as well. Let's take a look at those and see what the sharks think. Ugh.
Dead body goggles, like those goggles for onions, but for getting close to the ripe dead in the wild. Interesting. Thank you, mm -hmm. the remover. Uh, what do you guys think about this pitch? Mm. Uh, I mean, I, I, I think, I think, uh, you know, like getting rid of the, the sort of the pungent bouquet of a, of a ripe corpse, I think would be sort of sacrificing from the come tender coming of age experience. However, if there were goggles that superimpose some of my enemies onto the corpse, like sort of AI superimposed my enemies onto dead bodies I'm looking at or poking with a stick, I could see some potential investment in that. Okay. Very interesting. How about you, Chris? Uh, I agree with Will. The uh, removal of the uh, intense sensory experience uh, for seeing a dead body, especially if you are a adolescent, uh, uh, I think that really moots the experience that I have just paid good money to invest in. So uh, for that reason, I'm out. I mean, I'm trying to dare somebody to touch it if I'm there. If I'm there, I'm daring somebody yeah. to touch it with their hands, right? And if you did that, would you have them be wearing gloves? No. I think not. Ludicrous. Exactly. Ooh. Here's another pitch from a viewer. The gun that only kills bad guys. A gun invented that only kills the bad guys, but the good guys are okay. Smiley face. Thank you, Lil Stinker. <laughs> and uh, what what, uh, what do we think about that, Chris? What's your take? Uh, I personally think if you have the rights, the proprietary rights to such a technology, you should hold on to them deeply because that sounds like a game changer to me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How about you, Will? What are your thoughts? Uh, there are... There are million dollar ideas, there are billion dollar ideas, and then there are trillion dollar ideas. And the gun that only kills bad people is a trillion dollar idea. However, I'm out because I think once again, it robs the, some of the fun and sort of the, the random spontaneity that um, living in a gun culture produces. Yeah. So I, I think I, I think bullets should- The hard to match the just just and of living life. under uh, yeah. constant fear. Personally, I'm out because that invention has already been invented. It happens to be whatever gun is in the hand of a U.S. Army soldier. <laughs> Here's another one. Carnivore whippets. Carnivore whippets. Thank you, Infusion. My understanding, this is just sort of like a whippet for like for meat eaters. Is that like a meat lover's whippet? The, 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 protein infused nitrous. Is this what we're talking about here? I really couldn't tell you. This is all we got. And now, if you're talking about just taking your standard uh, nitrous canister whip it and slapping a meat lover's sticker on it and uh, putting it in the same aisle as your man wipes, uh, dude wipes, what are those things? You, you know what I'm talking about. You know, the, yeah. the, the man uh, yeah, advertised absolutely. wipes and just uh, marketing it up uh, a buck or two. I think that's a great idea. Men are stupid. We're gullible. We'll buy anything if it has a uh, bro bro dude meat slapped on it i think you can milk a few bucks out of the uh the male centric uh whippet audience nice okay. uh I am I am out on this one because I'm already uh, heavily and some might say over invested in disassociative drugs and uh, <laughs> selling them to people. So uh, for, for that reason, I think my portfolio is a little saturated on, you know, <laughs> flavored disassociative pills and gases that people can inhale. Yeah, I'm out for the reason that I have no idea what the fuck this person was talking about. Uh, let's move on to the next uh, <laughs> subscriber submitted pitch. Do we have another one? That was the last one. Time for testimonials. Tell people to join the Discord. Thank you, Teleprompter. <laughs> you got it. Um, join the Everything Now Show Discord. If you're watching this show for the first time and you're not on our Discord, can you punch in on me, please? Nope. That's very funny. Really, really funny. Not, not as fun when it's happening to me. I'll own that. <laughs> but we can punch in on me for fun. If you're not on the Everything Now Show Discord, kill yourself. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> that was not on the prompter. <laughs> All right. Let's go.
Thank you very much. Hi folks, you might remember me from my episode of Shark Tank three years ago when I made a legendary deal with the guy who invented FUBU. We came up with a thing where if uh, ketchup was really, really big, people were always saying to me, God, I wish ketchup was bigger. It's so small, I can barely find it in my house. If ketchup was as big as a guy, well, that would be way easier and then I would not run out of it. After working with FUBU to make my ketchup business a reality, I came up with an even better idea. And that idea is one that I took to the Sharks last season. You might remember this. And show the picture. Uh, there. You might remember... Was it two things? Why are you, you doing that? I don't know. What? You might remember hot dog by the foot. I took all the lessons I learned about what if food was big and thought, what's another food that would be better if it was really, really big? And then I thought of, and what's this? That's the thing. <laughs> I thought my thing was hot dog by the foot. Nah, it's this thing now. Oh, okay. Now it's this thing. You're right. Way to go, idiot. I forgot. I didn't invent that other thing. <laughs> what I meant to say was, I invented what if pizza forever. People were complaining to me about, man, this pizza is so delicious tasty. God, I wish I would never have run out of it. Well, thanks to technology that I got from an alien one time, pizza is now all of the time forever distance wise and time wise. Now when you have a pizza, you never have to be done with the pizza because it's all of the pizza. It's all the time. Thanks guy who invented FUBU for giving me $11 so that I could make a deal with an alien who doesn't understand how money works. Now pizza is all. Good? Yeah, perfect. Great, I'm out of here. Really good job on the tech. <laughs> how, how, how do you... <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, Shark Shark Tank watchers. <laughs> Y'all might remember me from my episode of Shark Tank back when I was just a little boy. When I came on the show as, as just a little boy and I pitched my million dollar idea. I pitched my million dollar idea. This cat, <laughs> this cat that has a little thing around its, around its neck. Now you can clearly see how this idea was influenced by my, at the time, age, which was small, young. I'm, I'm excited to come back to Shark Tank as a full grown adult now and pitch a beautiful new idea today. Thank you for having me, Sharks. And if you're still looking to buy this thing, we... <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Say the brand name. What's the name of the product? <laughs> it's <laughs> <laughs> the name of the product yeah. is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's 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 the new it's a. Uh, it's little cat oh from, the, God, <laughs> from the people who brought you Cheez Its. <laughs> it's this little cat. And if you're thinking of buying it, please do because it pays my rent to this day still. <laughs> so please check out this thing, or as it's known professionally, little cat by Cheez Its. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, <laughs> sharks. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> it's me! Jumly. Jum, jum, jumly Waters. And, uh, and I got. I've always had more, more money than I know how to deal with. I have to hide it in my hat and hide it all over. Because I have just that much money. You might remember me from coming on the Shark Tank and calling these dumb. Dumb new money scum poor because that's what they are. They are poor You think you think that Bill Gates or Elon Musk or whatever is the richest person in the world You don't get to know who the richest person in the world is you don't have enough money to know that
Um, but I also pitched to them <laughs> the, the shrimp friend because um, I don't have a lot of friends and I just thought it was a nice idea and um, they gave me $10 million for it and I told that to my dad and um, he hit me. That's what he loves to do. <laughs> he loves so to. He loves to hit me. Thank you so much for sharing that. <laughs> hey, sorry about this. I, I just tried to drive my car full speed into a brick wall. Uh, but uh, there was a time when things were actually really good. Uh, I was at one time on Shark's Tank. And uh, everything was going really well for me, actually, because I came to them with this crazy thing and they really liked it. Yeah, so uh, I don't like Italian people as a rule. And I was uh, trying to get them away from me just as a people. I was like, I want them around less. So I said, let's invent Twix for Italians and put them in the cities I'm not in. The sharks were like, no, what? what? They're like, it's a good idea, but what, we're gonna track you and like move them out of those cities? Like, what if you're going to a different town? Do we have to pull all the Italian Twix out of the town? I was like, ideally, we compromised and just released Italian Twix and I made a ton of money. But things have been a little tough for me lately ever since I got on X one month ago, cause I thought things are really going on over there right now. And I tried to start this whole thing where I was making my own NFTs. Apparently it's not just a thing you make. There's like a whole procedure behind it. Uh, so a lot of uh, a, a lot of very scary Saudi guys want me dead. What was your name? Let's go to the bumper. Thank you so much for joining us here at Shark's Tank. Uh, once again, I'm Toland Rhodes. We're here to hear some exciting pitches. I just wanted to formally apologize um, during our last sort of uh, segment there. Uh, we said something marginally negative about the House of Saud. And so we'd like to formally apologize to the House of Saud, <laughs> who has been bankrolling this production for years. So with that being said, we are uh, here again. Uh, it's me, Will, and Chris. We are hearing pitches for brand new businesses. You, the Saudis and, are and you, <laughs> and uh, we're, we're gonna hear uh, some more pitches right now. We're not gonna wait any longer. So let's just go ahead and get the next uh, person out there to pitch. There's some, inter there's some interactive things you can do during the show. It's all there. You don't have to hear me say that stuff. Okay, I'm hearing a gun being kicked. That means that the next pitch is ready. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Hi, my name's Grace Frey. I'm not doing a character, I read myself. And I am, believe everything I'm about to say. And I would like to be able to go through my entire presentation before you give it any comment. I don't give a shit if you have comments before that, because if you don't fund this, it's a good enough idea that other people will fund it. Hello, sharks. First a, remi first a reminder. 
You've known me since I was a little girl, 27 years old. <laughs> wow. And look at how much I've grown. Um, do you not owe it to my father to ensure my success? I think you do. Um, thank you. Okay, so who's this is this is Bernie Sanders mm. and he came up with <laughs> an incredible idea <laughs> once that everybody loved and it was called universal basic income. Uh-huh. Universal basic income is the idea that everybody would get $20. And uh-huh. I'd be pretty happy with that, right? I thought it was a pretty good idea. My mom pays for most of my stuff. I don't know how much stuff costs, but, um, and $20 is a lot of money to me. And and it's pretty much all I have in my wallet at any given time. But apparently that was not enough. The universal basic income didn't cover everything. Um, it costs so like bad things have happened whoa, whoa, whoa. even though we've insti- whoa, whoa, whoa. even though we've instituted universal basic like income we'd like to apologize once again to the house of sod and, we did. we're not well, you know what i always say when the house of sod is brought up house of sod likes that rod oh my god it feels like god baby um Grace is about to be executed I, for real. <laughs> I will not be executed because I will go down on the Crown Prince Mohammed Bill Simon. Mohammed Bill Simon. I will make him. I will make, I will make him feel things he's never felt before. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. Okay. So, uh, universal basic income and Bernie Sanders didn't prevent like 9-11 or genocide, or more importantly, now Russia gets to fight ISIS? What the <laughs> hell? Why did they get to fight those guys? Those were our guys to fight. We called dibs, and now you guys get to fight ISIS? Go to hell. That would be like if freaking the fucking Injustice League fought the Legion of Doom. What's the point of that? It's two (laughs) villains fighting each other. (laughs) Okay, so America's upside down. That's just the flag, that's just the flag. That's just the flag that's upside down in the picture. It's not, it's not, it's a a metaphor. Oh, sorry. Um, And uh, you basically, we need everything to be fixed right now. Mm -hmm. But how are we going to do, why is, what happened? Why why did America get so bad? It's easy. We stopped reading Hatchet by Gary Paulson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just very yes. simple. Facts. We stopped Facts. reading Hatchet Facts. by Gary Paulson as a culture. Look at America's decline. Graph next to the decline in how much we've read we read Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. And if people don't read Hatchet by Gary Paulson, they're certainly not going to read the Transcell Saga by Gary Paulson, which is an even better book. (laughs) So, we need Universal Basic Hatchet. And we need it now. We need a copy of Hatchet and every boy, girl, uh, etc.'s hand so that they can read this beautiful story about a kid who gets so horny from seeing his mom make out with someone who isn't his dad that his aura and energy crash a plane. (laughs) Now, Now, some people say, some people say that Hatchet is fascist. Because it's about a a boy learning to rely on himself. But that's not really true when you think about it. Because the boy learns to rely on waiting for some guy to come help him eventually. (laughs) So maybe it's a story of... (laughs) It's a story of waiting for some guy to come help you eventually. And it's two roads, right? You've got regular ending and then you got Brian Winter's ending. And, um, but both of them are about community and about how community can connect us even across thousands and thousands and thousands of miles. And then you've also got Brian's river where he tries to help NASA 
and it goes horribly wrong, which makes teaches us to focus on Earth. And then eventually, you've got the Transcell Saga, which I feel like not a lot of people have read, but you should read it. So here's the thing. Uh, the other thing is, too, Hatchet teaches us about sex and uh, the erotic. And if we call Hatchet fascist, then we are ceding all of the erotic to the Nazis. Do we really mm. want to give the Nazis Hatchet, one of the best books of all time? I don't want to give the Nazis Hatchet. Let's not, let's say that Hatchet is not a bad book and it's a good book. Um, How did you get that picture of Hitler? So no, there's a, ga there's a game on Steam called Hitler BDSM Dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> so when can we invest in that? I, wait, I'm, I, wait, can I invest in that? I'm, I'm yeah, in we, on yeah we're in on that. We're all in. We're all no, in. No, stop it. Yes. Respect you me. You can end the pig. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, and also, if 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 we give everybody a copy of Hatchet, everyone will do a Hatchet IRL. They will either get horny because they're thinking about their own moms or thinking about Brian, the main character's mom, and then they'll get to fly, they'll figure out how to fly up in Canada and their general horniness will uh, bring down their plane and then they'll learn a bunch of skills. So we won't need to fund school anymore because they'll just hatch it. And we won't need college because mm. again, just mm -hmm. hatch it. So now with Universal Basic Hatchet, we just have Hatchet and Tomorrow. You know, if people have the skills they learned in Hatchet, they don't need a communications degree. They've got Hatchet, baby. Um, mm. So from you, I'm asking for $143 million to give everybody born mm. in the USA in the next 13 years a copy of Hatchet. I think by that time, the universal Hatchetification will happen because Brian was 13 when he did Hatchet. Um, mm -hmm. And we need also an additional $10 billion for a paramilitary organization oh, okay. that makes sure they read Hatchet at threat of death. <laughs> Um, if you don't want to fund this, could you just buy me a gaming computer? I, I want one, and I know that you guys make enough money from Chapel Patreon where it wouldn't be a big deal because I looked at it, and um, I, I, and that's that's it. Thank you. Uh, what You're kind welcome. of games are you gonna play on this in this gaming computer? Dwarf Fortress. Do you need a big rig for Dwarf Fortress? Yes, you do if it gets big enough. <laughs> you do need a big rig for Dwarf That's ridiculous. It's really big. That's ridiculous. Really you do big. need a big rig if it gets big enough. <laughs> and now it has graphics. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. You obviously need a big rig if it gets big enough. Uh-huh. Well, Other stuff I'm going to play the, is Counter-Strike. The, the Dwarf or the Fortress? Oh, see, that's an interesting question. And I can only answer it if I can explore that in the game. Joe, okay, mm. I, will, I will put. I will consider that. So you've said a All lot right, that right. uh, it would be enticing to you know most people, but we we have a high threshold over mm -hmm. here at, among the sharks. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with Will. What is what is Will's take on whether or not uh, he'd like to invest? Mm. Uh, well, I want to congratulate Grace on uh, another great pitch, another great presentation. I thought, you know, you sort of lost me in the beginning talking about universal basic income, which I think as sharks we can all agree is a recipe for disaster. Mm -hmm. It breeds weakness and indolence in our society. Mm -hmm. which, you know, it's just like you're never supposed to feed wild animals. And in, in this metaphor here, uh, the wild animals are people with less money than me, and I don't think they should be fed unless they come up with a good product like Wi-Fi enabled oven mitts. You know, like we need we need disaster and misery in our society so that we can have cool products that people feel the necessity, like that people feel the need to become mm -hmm. entrepreneurs and inventors because their life is so wretched that we can have fun new products to invest in. And that the cool thing said, about okay, thank you very much. That being said. I am also a big fan of the Gary Paulson novel, Hatchet. It's a great novel about uh, being horny for your mom, about surviving in the wilderness, and also about how moose are dangerous. However, Grace, I think we, I think we can take this idea one step further. We mm -hmm. can get rid of schools and weakness and indolence in our society by just getting a little bit more literal with this. Universal basic hatchet 
we give everyone a hatchet, not the book, because mm-hmm. you can only learn so much from, from reading. We give people hatchets, and then they can foster positive life experience. Mm-hmm. Oh, we uh, could throw them things, into the woods, surviving. and it would be like Hunger Games, but impossible to win, like no prizes. Yeah. I mean, like, it just... I, what, what is Shark Tank about? It's about a desperate battle for survival with mm. hatchets among people what, who want can, investment. What Shark Tank is about is about the end of all things and the beginning of something new. You are all <laughs> trying to find the one thing yes, you can yes, invest in. We are all in. witnessing a great becoming at all yes, times on yeah, the program. Yeah, trying yeah. to find the one thing you can invest in that will begin the new era. So you'll be on top. If Universal Basic Hatchets is that thing. Have you guys seen Neon Genesis Evangelion? It's exactly like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is oh, 100% yeah. Yeah. like that. Can we, Except now, instead can of we Angels, we have Universal Basic nerve. Hatchet. Okay. I would like to shout out we, Professor Avi, yeah. who is one of our fans, too. And it's nice that you're here, and I think I said your name wrong, and I'm sorry, and I love you. Read the hatchets, Shinji, or else your ninth grade English professor teacher will have to go. <laughs> um, I oh, hi, Alex. Wow, we've got a lot of friends. We don't here. have to just say. We don't have to say hi. We don't have to stop everything to say hi to the people hey, in chat. We do that at a start. Shout out if you know someone in this room right now. <laughs> I just, um, I wanted to, before, before we move on to Chris, I just wanted to say mm. earlier in your presentation, you, you put up a photo that you claim to be of uh, Senator Bernie Sanders. Yeah. I just want to say, yeah, that wasn't him. That was uh, U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Ban Ki-moon. You don't, you don't think Bernie Sanders can be an Asian guy? No, I'm just saying you put up a photo of Bernie Sanders. It's a photo of Ban Ki-moon, the U.S. Ambassador to the UN, if I'm not mistaken. Ban Ki Moon was the general secretary of the UN. Oh, okay. Okay. You got it. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Anyway, continue. I'm witty. That's debatable. Let's see. Let's hear from Chris. Chris, what's your take? Well, this is Grace from Girl Guy. Yes. I think- it's so fun to interact with. Ch- Sorry, Chris. <laughs> Your, your, my penchant for uh, my, my interest in, in investing is going down rapidly every time you interrupt me to talk to the chat. Anyway, uh, I, I would like to say, because esteemed colleague, uh, Mr. Wilderful, uh, uh, stole my investment idea of giving just everyone on Earth a hatchet. I would like to one-up him in the a unilateral deal between me and you. What if mm. I could offer you a situation in which only you... Grace Floyd had a hatchet. I'm saying we moved past universal hatchet and single hatchet program. So kind of, um, I would be trading the a universal experience of joy and becoming for my own individualist power. Yes. Oh, geez. I. This I is mean, this listen, is the bargain that I, grew, I took. Uh, you with. I grew up poor as shit, and. Uh, I'm the kind of transgender they're still trying to figure out a name for, and I, <laughs> I never thought I never thought I would ever get offered the only uh, uh, one hatchet. One hatchet. I'd be the only person the with a hatchet, hatchet in the world. In the world, would people still have guns? Yes, but, but I gotta say, when you no think deal. About- I gotta say, no deal, Chris. I'm going with Will. Wait, 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 wait. I, I haven't invested yet. And in yes, fact, you did. I'm pretty sure you have. I, I'm, wait, wait. I'm pretty I, sure no, no, you I, did. I, I, like, I like the idea. I like the idea, but I don't like the universality of it. The only thing I think that should be universal is, you know, misery. Uh, so, and also, I realize I am also oh, heavily look, we've invested. We've got a celebrity. In I'm heavily we invested. We got a celebrity. Oh, okay. <laughs> no one paid for that, right? Oh, it's me, Elon Musk. <laughs> I have to say today, that Hatchet is the only book I ever read in the South Africa. It's made me want to move to the North American continent. And um, I'd like to also say that I don't have any money to fund this, but if I did, I would really do it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, Mr. Musk, wait. Oh. oh, he's gone. He, oh. He's dead. What? He's dead. What happened? Wait, how? What, how? They just no. killed him. Who no. killed him? 
No. What do you mean who killed him? Freaking DEI. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Just like that bridge. Well, uh, yeah, I, I was going to say, uh, uh, you know, like the, the idea of universal, of universal hatchet is going to be a problem for me because I am also heavily invested with the House of Saad and Mohammed Paul Simon mm -hmm. in a hatchet company. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm just going to be, just, I'm just going to be selling hatchets. So the Universal Basic Hatchet Program, I gotta say, I'm out on that. I'd like to continue selling hatchets the old-fashioned way, and having people you don't uh, learn understand, how to survive in an entrepreneurial Will. fashion. Will, Will, <laughs> Will, you don't understand what's happening. Don't you understand that once Universal Basic Hatchet begins, there won't be any companies. There won't be any House of Sod. There will only be the new era. The new era. And, and, uh, and that new era will include a new book in the Hatchet universe that I've written. Now wait, this is not part of the initial pitch. Wait, wait, we all know that there's a hatchet, <laughs> the second hatchet that I don't it's remember the name Brian's of. It's called Brian's End, and oh, it okay. is um a it is a book full of lessons to live your life by from Brian's perspective, while also b connecting the narrative of the Hatchet universe with that of Transcell Saga. So, okay. have either of you even read Transcell Saga? What, 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 what? What, what kind of life lessons am I going to take from this kid? Uh, don't get on a small plane in the Canadian Rockies. Like, I mean, come on, done. I don't. I, I got nothing to learn from this kid. Got this nothing, is what got you're going to learn. To to me. Death I'm is out. coming, and it's okay to fuck your mom. And people are going to get really on board with that. People are going to get really on board with that, and they're going to listen to whatever I have to say there, pal. So you better get on my side right now. Uh, Grace, was this assigned reading for you at some point in high school or middle school? This book. I read Hatchet on my own when I was six years old. Okay. I've read it. It introduced no, the concept a, of it introduced the question. concept of suicide to me, and that's actually been kind of hard so, uh, <laughs> for me at points. <laughs> but it also introduced me the concept of Gary Paulson, which eventually led me to Trans Cell Saga, which everybody should read. Is everybody laughing in, here and at home? Uh, are you East Coast people? Are you all East Coasters? I'm laughing at Muhammad Paul I, Simon. Okay. I'm still laughing at Muhammad Paul Simon. <laughs> okay. <as well. laughs> Muhammad Paul I, Simon and I go way back, <laughs> and also way deep. Not I've that been so, I've been all the way past the prostate. Yeah. Not only have I. Yeah. Oh. Did you know that when you when you fist someone, whether it's the prince of the house of Saad or anybody, you start like this. You start like this, you start like this, and then you make the fist. And that'll be in Brian's end. That'll be in the book. Okay. Well, I'm Can out. we go back to that picture of sexy Hitler? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, can we have that image in the background while, while this uh, sort of comes to an end here? What do you mean comes to an end? Oh, well, I mean, we're just, I feel like we're nearing a sort of a, a terminus point, a terminal point here in this, uh, this here pitch. Grant? Like, yes? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Oh, do you have more? To sell? Do you have more? I mean, what? Do you have more to offer? What am I? What am I missing? Here? Well, I pretty much just wanted to say. Okay, there's, there, there, there we go. go. Yeah. I pretty much, much just wanted here. to say that this is your last chance. This is the last chance to do something right with all that money. You know, you've been spending it left and right on fucking making sure. That this Saudi prince doesn't kill you, and that Saudi prince doesn't kill you, <laughs> and, and why, why don't you just for once in your in your in your godforsaken life buy me a fucking gaming computer? You know, like it's not that expensive anymore. And and if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Then let's make a world where nobody has a gaming computer, okay? And all we do is have hatches and we live in the woods. And nobody talks to me about Dwarf Fortress, when, which I can't even run. Okay? Hmm. I just, I feel like you almost certainly can run Dwarf Fortress on like a, like a gaming laptop, you know what I mean? Not in a significant way. Not in a significant way. Not in the way no. that like my brain can conceive of running dwarfs and fortress okay. on. Fair enough. Now Fair now enough. as an investor, I would like to like to hear much more about the specs of 
running Dwarf Fortress in 2024 and a level for maybe the next 20 to 25 minutes. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna need, you ever hear of Intel? Like three of those. <laughs> like the, I'm the chip manufacturer? Okay. Pretty quick here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, final kind of offers, please. Yeah, we gotta get about. final offers. We have here. to get final offers. That's what the teleprompter told us. Yeah, we, we need to get, need final, to get final, final offers. offers. Okay. What's your name again? My final me? offer. Yeah. My final well, it offer. wasn't Grant. <laughs> when you call me, <laughs> Tol Toland Rhodes is my name. What are you uh, doing? What are you doing? I'm, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm out on the unit. My final. My final offer is this: uh, nothing for the universal basic hatchet, nothing for the dwarf for a tricks. Uh, everything for the Red Wall books by Brian Jacques. If we can get those, <laughs> if we can get those out there. I, I I mean, if you're if you have the IP to Brian Jacques Red Wall series, like Matteo, uh, Salomon, so Gastron, I guess you're a freaking the, pedo yeah, yeah, furry. You know, the if you want to fuck a mouse, that's the equivalent of wanting to fuck a child animal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, I want to settle the not, not, yeah. not every children's book is about fucking grace. Thing. Yeah. I love you, Chris. How much money are you gonna swing my way? Uh, I Grace, I think you know the what, the offer that's on the table. What? No one on Earth gets a hatchet. You get the only hatchet on Earth. Okay. Mm. I'm, is that the only offer on the table? Hey, it's whoever you are, do you have table. an offer? Okay, I have a name, but that's fine. I do uh, have. I don't have an <laughs> offer. I'm gonna pass. I actually have. I, I not only have I not read this book, I haven't heard of this book. I suspect it was something that was assigned in East Coast schools because most of the people laughing. No, saying, hatchet oh. is a broadly. Who hasn't heard of Hatchet? Hey, chat, really quick. If you haven't heard of Chat Hatchet, chime in. We're gonna get a poll. But if you have heard, yes, do do a poll. Um, and then okay, what's so pretty of much the last thing I have to say is I do accept the one Hatchet. I do think so much about me a gaming computer, whether it's somebody that's watching or whatever. Um, and I, I, I would, talk, I would make a blog or something about the stuff and. I think everybody would be pretty happy with it. Mm. Um, and then the only other thing I want to say is um, go to my Twitter at Grace G. Freud and the pinned tweet. My friend is raising money to stay housed. Thank you. Yes. And then you haven't heard of it. Yeah, still running away. Yeah, really Dad running away. Okay. I uh, look here. I'll 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 fess up to this. I read the Fountainhead in sixth grade and then decided I never needed to read again. So that just. <laughs> I don't know about that book. It's fine. And I'm doing great, by the way. I'm crushing it. Okay? <laughs> this is a Brooks Brothers shirt. This is a Brooks Brothers shirt. This is from Brooks Brothers. We have viewer pitches, and then we're going to go to... That for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. My mother did that. Okay, we have viewer pitches, and then we're going to go to the master class. That's what the teleprompter saying. Here's a pitch. <laughs> Yes. Really so big cigarette. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm in. Smoking I'm darts in. 69. Okay. I think we're all in. We're all in, right? Yes. Only question yes. is how much. Yeah. Even if you believe that it's a carcinogen that's slowly taking the lives of countless uh, people all over the world, big cigarette's pretty funny. It's a pretty big, like, imagine it's just coming out of the. Look at that guy. Whoa. You know, like this. Huge guy. Huge cigarette. Whoa. Like this. Smoke, like maybe it has a, like this to smoke like it? a little a little stand with one wheel halfway down it so you have to like carry it around you know oh my god that's rolling fun. it through you know dude yeah. yes dude yes dude yes another pitch new amazing white powder i found in my dad's shoebox that both numbs the pain and gives a short-term boost of euphoric energy <laughs> reverend carter i'm in <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. I have some reservations about the shoebox element of this, but I think mm. with a little uh, visual uh, uh, rec reconnaissance, I could be convinced easily. I think shoebox? I think you're, the problem is you're visualizing like shoes in there. I think this is like a shoebox that's been converted into like place for white powder and like an old Polaroid of Jane Mansfield or something. I don't think we need to like worry too much about there being foot stuff involved, although... Well, again, this is why I would need more information. Right. But we don't have that, unfortunately. Maybe next time. Uh, do we have another viewer uh, reason I pitch? Yeah. We have one more viewer pitch, and uh, we'll get the reaction. A French fry with the perfect amount of ketchup inside of it oh. could also include a variety of condiments, molecular, Lionel. 
That's actually a great idea. What's our take on that? Uh, what, what do we think about that, Will? Um, I'm out. Ketchup goes on the outside of a French fry, not inside of it. Inside of it is for the uh, potato. It's a oh, really interesting and, uh, point. The, the list that's is a, crispy oil. That's a really interesting point. Uh, you... Shock that doesn't e already exist in all the way. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Uh, my my reaction is bring back the fucking Wonder Ball. Remember that? Bring back the Wonder Ball. Chocolate with inside of it's got stuff. Is that, those were good. The toys they were really good. Bring back the Wonder Ball. Sometimes didn't that become illegal? Toys, didn't they make that illegal like in the uh, in the uh, the United oh, States? The, the, That's why the, the, Kinder, the Kinder Balls. Damn it! Yeah, the Kinder, the Kinder eggs. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Wonder Ball is it like is, yeah. it was like this, and you broke it. Yeah. It was like a chocolate shell. It was like you broke it. And then inside there'd be like little tarts and stuff. And they were okay. Disney shaped stuff also. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, but they, well, were, we, they were also we edible. That, we, we can't have that in America because our, our weak, stupid children choke to death on it uh, for eating it because they haven't read yeah. Hatchet by Gary Balsa. <laughs> so, so fucked. Yes. Okay, you can't put we're tiny go pieces a... of plastic inside of your chocolate candies anymore because of woke. The teleprompter's yelling at me, fellas. I'm sorry. We could talk about how much we hate woke shit all day, as far as I'm concerned. But tell people, so it's telling me that uh, we're going to the master class now, which is basically like, you know, master class. Say yes, it is. Yeah, it's like master class. It yeah. It's like master class. Okay, you in the chat are going to be able to ask people advice on business stuff. And these are going to be geniuses, okay? So they're going to have an answer for you. So just get ready to ask questions. And uh, also make sure to join the Discord. I've been told not to intimate that you should take your own life if you don't do it. <laughs> but just remember the thing I said earlier, okay? Our agent got mad at us. Our agent DM'd us on Discord and was like, maybe don't do that anymore. Look, look, Whatever. look. Whoops among us has not been running a Twitch stream in which someone somewhere intimated something about taking the lives of yourselves or others. Well, <laughs> that's so what I'm true. saying. I know that's so true. So true. All right. We actually do. Yeah, well, let's go. Yes, it is. Exactly. Yeah, you know what? That's true. I will leave that in your court here. Okay, we're going to go do the masterclass shit. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I'm one of the youngest people to ever make $100, and I'm here to tell you a little bit... <laughs> I'm here to tell you a little bit about how to succeed in business. Go ahead and ask me any questions you'd like. We might be on too slow of a mode, because nothing's coming in right now. What are your thoughts on the House of Saw? All right, I actually want to get into this. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> zoom back in, zoom back in. Zoom back in. I guess let's get our next. <laughs> I guess let's get our next master in. What's up, everyone? I invented COVID nineteen, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm here to give you some business advice. Obviously, that was a massive success, and I can't really read through my mask. Uh. What are the questions? What are the questions? Uh, I'll, I'll read them to you. Okay. Is it wrong to take advantage of the elderly for profit? Absolutely not. COVID nineteen, baby. When is COVID twenty four dropping? It's that. Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> Next question. Wow, two people asked the COVID twenty four. No doing stop school for a year. I would say start a, a pandemic that takes over the entire world. Next question. Uh, yeah, plans for a sequel? Why is everyone so obsessed with this? I'd like to be known for what I already have accomplished, which is launching the, a massive pandemic that defined our, our life and times, okay? Stop asking for more, for more stuff, okay? For me, there's not gonna be a sequel. I think everyone just had such a fun time, they wish we could do it again. There's not gonna be a sequel, okay? Okay, I got, I got another question here. What if there was a weird guy? Yeah, what if there was? <laughs> That's something I think about every day, okay? I wake up, I think about that. Here's a question. Do yeah. you see Avatar? What's up with those blue guys? That's inter That's very interesting. The movie Avatar is- Time's up! Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no uh, problem. They're asking if we can mix coke with Incentix. Hi, it's me, Cow Santa, Santa of the Wild Frontier. I made my money the old-fashioned way. I have my elves, I'm like regular Santa, I have my elves make a bunch of toys and then I sell them to the stores. Um, so, I don't give, I, just like the, the West don't give nobody nothing for free, except many settlers. Uh, land, land is free, but nothing else. Not toys, no Game Boys, no nothing like that. So what are your questions? Can you get an Outback? No. Why cow have Santa? Oh, uh, I'm known as cow Santa because I'm very large. It's about my weight. Um, <laughs> what, are I, what are my horses' names? Uh, and my horses' names uh, are um, uh, Porsche. Bentley, um, Volvo, that one isn't as nice, but I do have one. I have cars, you freaking poor little stamp on the ground. Um, does Cow Santa live in the South Pole? No, I live in Santa Fe. Um, Cow Santa, who is your favorite One Piece character and why? Obviously, my favorite One Piece character is no other than Hody Jones. Um, the real big bad who will become back at the end of one piece that's a little bit of inside baseball um can you rank my your top reindeers i don't do anything with reindeer ears but fucking eat them um, <laughs> so thank you oh. <laughs> Uh, hi, my name is Salazar12. I am an entrepreneur from the future, and I've come back in time to tell you how to make business today in your time, which I'm being told is 1994. Uh, so if you've got any uh, questions about how to make money in your time or now, uh, I mean, in your time, 1994 or the future. Let's see, okay. Um, is Mr. Beast still alive? Of course Mr. Beast is still alive. Uh, we had to keep him alive. He is the ruler. Uh, uh, how long have you had uh, an EVE Online subscription? Well, technically EVE Online is no more. It's just EVE now, which is what we consider reality. Uh, in the year 2037, uh, all of reality essentially became EVE Online, and we now live inside spreadsheets. 
Uh, what stock should I short? Stocks no longer exist in the future. Everything is basically based on spreadsheets in Google uh, Sheets and Excel. Uh, did America last for another 30 years? Yes, technically America did last and it continues to last, but we've all basically forgotten about it on account of we all live in EVE Online now. <laughs> It's just uh, Eve now. It's just Eve now in the future. Uh, is everyone that hot? Yes, we're all this hot. Thank you. I'd like to issue just one more really quick correction. Earlier I said that our agent reached out to us via Discord to say that, uh, you know, that you shouldn't tell people to join the Discord or they should kill themselves. He just said, I'm just gonna read this verbatim. LOL, just kidding, boys. We need you guys to be goaded with the friggin' sauce. We need you crazy ass white boys cooking for real, for real. And then he just sent us a gif of, uh, sent us a, a gif of uh, exhibit driving off, going like this. <laughs> So, something we'll have to keep in mind moving forward. And with that being said... <laughs> Love you, Willie. Love you, Willie. Thank you, Willie. Get us some money! <laughs> Let's get those fucking checks rolling in, brother. <laughs> Let's get those fucking checks rolling in, huh, Will? Like All right, showtime. Okay, showtime. Okay, showtime. We have another pitch, believe it or not. Pitch me, I must be dreaming. Let's get this next pitch out here. Hi there, what's your name? Howdy, sharks! Thank you for thank you for having me, sharks. My name. <laughs> my name. My name is Mr. Chocolate. <laughs> and I'm coming to you. And I'm coming to you today from Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Didn't realize where the studios were. Oh, no, no I, I flew in. Okay. <laughs> in an air in an airplane. <laughs> now, sharks, I'm here today with an incredible idea. Okay. When y'all were kids, I'm sure you remember your parents telling you to be careful of white vans. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Your parents mm -hmm. told you watch watch out for the white vans. Okay, mm -hmm. because those white vans could have all kinds of scary men in them waiting to take you away. Okay, your parents probably told you <laughs> to stay away from white vans like these here. And they probably told you, you know, the men in these vans are going to be offering you candy. Okay. They did say that, yes. They told you stay away yes. from the white vans because the men in the white vans are going to be offering you free candy, okay? You should never trust free candy, okay? That's the lesson we were all taught as kids. We're all familiar with that. We can all relate to that. I'm establishing something we can all relate to, okay? Now, here's where I come in. As a businessman, my what I do is <laughs> what I do what I do is I turn the narrative on its head okay I turn the narrative I flip the narrative on its head that's an acronym for you okay turn the narrative on its head my company Wait, how's that an acronym my company van candy LLC flips the narrative on its head okay we, instead of offering kids candy to trick them into something nasty, no. we offer kids no. <laughs> lot <of> sexual favors <laughs> to drum up our, my candy business. Yeah. We still good, Willie? Oh, Willie, are we still good? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a candy salesman, okay? That's what I do. But it's a tough time because of the narrative that men in white vans are offering your kids candy to do some nasty stuff to him. I propose we flip the narrative on its head, okay? Now, 
Good news, we're all ready for Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. the one thing we didn't want to hear. So just, keep, so just keep that in mind, okay? But <clears throat> let's clear some things up, y'all. Okay, let's clear, let's clear some things up. I'm not a pedophile. <laughs> yes! Thank you. Okay, would a pedophile be walking free? <laughs> I didn't I didn't think so. Okay, and would a would a pedophile be married oh, to an adult woman? <laughs> now, I personally am not married to an adult woman. <laughs> But I would like to be, okay? I would certainly like to be, okay? Now, I don't want to be doing this, okay? This is not my passion, okay? If I had a choice in what I was doing, I would be pursuing my passion of entry-level computer science and coding. Okay, but for better or worse, I'm a businessman. And the first rule of business is sex. You can use it to sell. We all know that, okay? We all, we all know that. Today, sharks, I'm asking for $5,385 for 100% stick in life. <laughs> so you're giving us the business in its entirety. Let me, let me break it down for you, sharks. Okay, let me, it's gonna be quite simple when I break it, when I break it down for you. Let, let's talk about why I'm asking for that much money, okay? That's right. You are going to be the sole owner of my company, and I will still make money <laughs> as a silent backer of the company, but you will own the company in full if you choose to invest today. Okay? You will own the company, and everything that happens to it will reflect, will be your legacy. All right? Are we clear on that? Yeah. Okay, now let's break down why I'm asking for this amount of money. Okay? I need $85 so we can buy some candy in bulk. Okay, and I know a guy, a doctor in fact, who can get us some candy for real cheap. His name is Dr. Rufus Candy and he had plastic surgery to look like Chris Hemsworth. Okay, that's how you know he's legitimate. Okay, that's what I need $85 for. Mr. I need Candy's $300. A practicing doctor? Excuse me? Mr. Candy's a practicing doctor, a medical practitioner? No, that's his legal name. Now. I need 300 I need $300 to get the van detailed and fixed because I've been living inside of there. Okay? And I don't know what this stain is from, but I want it out of my car. Okay? Also one night while I was sleeping this happened. <laughs> $300 know. is going to cover that? <laughs> Yeah, I know a guy. Up to, the, up to this this point, I was thinking these seem like reasonable expenses for a candy from a no, band I business. I, I was know a guy. I know a guy, but I'm and three hundred dollars will cover it. But I'm keeping his name to myself because I don't want to drive up the prices. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna. T I'll take the van to that guy and get, we'll get it fixed for three hundred dollars. Okay, and then the remaining five million dollars I need for legal fees. Okay. <laughs> I have been assured Seems by low. my Seems lawyer. Man, I, I, yeah, Seems I know. Low. Well, listen, listen, I feel that you're being sarcastic with me and I don't appreciate it. I have been assured by my lawyer that that is a fair price. Okay. His name is Thomas Genius. He's a kid lawyer, age nine. Mm. <laughs> and he costs more money because kid lawyers are so damn rare. Where'd you meet Thomas? It, I don't have to talk about that with you. <laughs> That's no one's business but my own, okay? Lawyer, lawyer, patient, confidentiality. Right. Ever heard of it? Sure. I don't have to tell you anything, it's so okay? so many words, yeah. All right. We also offer a subscription-based service. <laughs> like Netflix. Ever heard of it? So, Sharks, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna, are you gonna get on board with the, the Netflix of, of candy and Vans? Yeah. Thank you for listening to my presentation. No pressure to say yes because it's fine. I'll just go back to living in my van and new work. Wow.
Well, I mean, I've uh, been offered investment opportunities like this before, and really I'm just not sure about the profitability. It didn't really work out as well with uh, the work that I did with Mr. Epstein, but I wonder if, mm. if Will maybe has an offer. <laughs> which, which Epstein? You know the one. <laughs> you know the one. Okay. Will, you have an offer? Um, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm a little confused by yeah. the pitch here. I'm a little, I'm going to say, so Mr. Chocolate, if you could just, um, uh, just sort of, uh, answer a few questions or just to clarify a few things. Yeah. Uh, so essentially I am becoming the sole owner of a company that exists to, um, cajole children into, uh, sex acts and abducting them. Uh, <laughs> No. <laughs> I mean, First of all, no. Okay. We are a candy company. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You would become the sole owner of a candy company that uses state of the art marketing techniques. Uh huh. Okay. By flipping the narrative on its head. That's I where I come in. I, I flip the narrative on its head for you guys. Parents are no longer going to say, be aware of men in white vans offering you candy for free. They're going to say, let's maybe meet the guy first and see if he's selling the candy or what. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a, it's an interesting concept. And look, I, I'll, I'm gonna have my marketing people take a look at this because if 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 we can if we can get some I market have a marketing research, guy. I have a I have a marketing okay. guy who's probably <laughs> better than you your marketing some, guy. I'm so okay. I'm so, well, if, if your if your marketing guy can produce some market research that shows that people are ready for the 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 script to be flipped on abducting children in white vans, well, then if you're I looking for to be, if you're looking for I happen to be a major investor I, in a. I have real Go experience hands-on. I, oh. I can vouch, people are ready. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but um, I am seeing here, apparently you have something of a sob story to share with us. There's, this is a, not just a product to you, this is personal. Is there something you'd like to, to share about the nature of your product? Something emotional? Yeah. This is not, this is more than a product to me. <laughs> this is a... <laughs> I'm sorry, it makes me cry. <laughs> this is so much more to me than just a business, okay? Because I'm not just in this for making money. I actually love candy. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I actually love candy. And I, I don't do, I do this because I actually love candy. Okay. All right. Well, that's, Mr. that's all we need to hear. I'm glad we got that out. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Chocolate, that was uh, that was an impassioned emotional plea. I just have one question for you. Yeah. How old are you? How oh, old I are you, Mr. Some, Chocolate? I forgot something else about uh, what actually what actually gave me the idea for this company, and, yeah, right. which is that all my right. son, my yeah. son actually was kidnapped by a man in a white van offering candy. Your son. Yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. Are, are they okay? Nah, he's he wasn't so he was a he was a he was a dud. But it didn't give me the idea. <laughs> oh, he was. He was not okay Your before he was dud. kidnapped. Okay. What's that? Your child was a dud or the, the van in question? My child was a dud. The only good thing he ever did was get kidnapped and give me the idea for this here company. Wow. Chris, I noticed you've been so well, quiet. <laughs> well, first, Mr. Chocolate, I have to start by saying that I want to praise your presentation. I think you've done a tremendous job here. I think that uh, the numbers sp specifically are airtight. $85 bulk candy, $300 van repair, $5 million legal fee. That seems about exactly where you want to be with an Those operation like this. Those are good like numbers, this. friend. Those are great numbers. Uh, I would I would trust my own account with those. My real question is, uh, can we maybe, would you maybe ever consider uh, reworking your business slightly to uh, eliminate the uh, van and sexual favor part and just maybe keep the mail order candy part of it? So it's just for men? 
I mean, how, how did you, how did you get, take that from what was just said? <laughs> Males order it. Oh, okay. Oh, got it. No, I uh, threw, um, very much. Now, what's I feel like here, that's uh, a bad look. The, the US I feel like you service? get into some Catholic church shit if you're just doing it with just boys. <laughs> what's well, that? You know, let's go down this path. The last time when we were talking about the we nitrous for men, there's I was a, saying that there's, there's a, uh, says that we have there's to a, an underserved path, path for uh, just uh, products for men. Why not? Just male colon, M A L E colon, order candy. But then you just do it all through the postal service. You know, you don't have to deal with this whole this whole van thing. What would oh, you think so about that? Oh, so we like we like start a postal company and drive the van around doing deliveries of the candy, and then maybe that's the great can... thing about the U.S. mail. You don't have to actually use the van. You don't have to drive the van yourself. And Nobody else could, drives it for what? you. No, but you're giving me a good idea. We go to their house and we park in front of their house. Yes. Well, again, well, the U.S. Postal Service van will typically do that. I'm just saying that you could. To send the candy to people and then they just send you money directly without the van intermediary. Why would they why would they do that? Mm, yeah, you raise an interesting question. I'll, I, I'll have to think about it. Will, do you have any additional follow-ups? Yeah. You know what? This this seems like a long shot, but I'm going I'm going in on I'm going in on the white van candy service because Look, I, I think it's. I think we should flip the narrative on this. And I'm also heavily invested in a white van company and a child abduction ring. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Just want to be clear: we don't abduct the kids; they come back. At, they're customers. So I, I don't. I don't really understand why. Why you guys? You guys are really hung up on the abduction thing. This is a legitimate business, okay? We we bring the kids into the van. We sell them the candy, and then. You know, wink, wink, and then they leave. Mm. We don't. The van doesn't move with the kids in the van. That'd be a whole liability thing if we were driving them around. Uh, unpack the wink, wink for me. Nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's your prerogative. You don't have to do that. I guess. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> so sharks, who wants to own 100% of a company? <laughs> oh, Will does. Will already I, said I he do, does. I do. I yeah. do. I do. I want to own the company. <laughs> Well, Will, I'm not sure. I mean, I want, I want to make, I want to make sure. your, Mr. Chocolate, I want to make your dreams come true. I want no. to make your legal problems go away. And I want to make children feel safe I'm not when sure they I'm, approach I'm, a windowless white van. I'm not sure I'm ready to let go of the company. Excited. I'm not sure I'm ready to let it go. Okay, no, I, I change, no, I changed my mind. I'll let, it, I'll let it go. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, boy. Well, you drive a hard bargain. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, okay, I mean, I'd I'm like a, the company. I'm, I'm a businessman. Congr congrats, Will. I'll be my lawyers will be sending you over some stuff. Is this just a thing where you're gonna hand Will the keys to the van? Is that the, <laughs> the plan? No, I live in there. Okay. Oh, that's right. I guess you're still gonna. So, are you going to be the one empl sole employee of this company still? Is that or is that going to be the idea? Is that you'll basically work for Will? Maybe we could put up a "We're hiring" sign on the side of the van. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Chocolate, Mr. Chocolate. I, I mean, like, I, I, you know, family is so important. Family is so important in business. And I just think, yeah. like, I, I would like to make my new company, I would like to sort of christen it in honor of your abducted son. So what, what, who, who was your son? What was, what was, what was his name? No. I, I, I honestly don't remember. Wait, who's that? <laughs> there's a little, there's a little, there's I a honestly little one. Don't. I'm crying. I'm Boy! Boy, what are you doing here? Wait, Tell me! Wow. Hey, folks, that was the Everything Now Show. This show happens four times a week, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Weekdays, the show happens from 7 to 9. Weekends at 6 to 8. If you haven't already followed or subscribed to this program here on Twitch, you should do so right away, okay, as quickly as possible. You'll get more stuff like what you just saw all the damn time, arguably. And guess what? The Everything Now Show Discord. I've mentioned it before. You know, let's say, like, we don't have to, like, Threaten your your you know the safety of you your body your friends all that stuff we're not we're not gonna threaten your family or anything just join the Discord for fun 
Just join the Discord for fun. All the images that we use for the little the testimonial stuff, those were images submitted by the viewers on the Discord. Join the Everything Now Show Discord, okay? And the other social media stuff. Yeah, and follow all the other social media. And thanks so much. Uh, tonight was so fun because of our insanely good and cool guests. So thank you so much, Will. Thank you so much, Chris. And thank Let's you so bring much. Bring out the girl two guests. Great. Come on out. We're gonna have you all do a little pose together here. Perfect. This is so perfect. Um. Will and Chris, do you guys have any projects you guys do together or something you want to promote? <laughs> uh, not really. Okay. Oh okay. yeah. Cool. <laughs> we do a little. We do a little show. Uh, you, it's, it's called Chapo Trap House. You can find folks, it wherever you find podcasts. It's Chapo Trap House, folks. You know what? We love it. Go check it out. Girl Another time. great movie mindset. Oh yeah, actually, April we should. I, I, I will try to play it easy. We, we have a new uh, mini series coming out May or yes, April twenty fourth. Uh, that's the second season of Movie Mindset. It's a movie based uh, uh, podcast hosted by Will here and of course Hessa Denny. Uh, you know her from Seeking Deranged. Uh, 10 episodes starting every Wednesday, May or April 24th. Hess is great. Patreon.com is great. great. Movie Mindset, one of the best podcasts of all time. Chapel, one of the best. You listen, uh, uh, we have April and I have a podcast called Girl Got Experience. Um, and if you want to get into it, there's an international chili cook-off episode that we did recently that was really fun. And you can sign up for the Patreon at patreon.com slash girl god. Um, and uh, is that that's, for, that's it? Oh, yeah, we're gonna be in Portland it. on May third, second. May second. We're gonna be on Portland <laughs> in Portland on May second, and we're gonna have, have pride shows in June that will announce soon. Thank you so much. Thank you to all our awesome guests. Uh, so cool for us to get to uh, perform with all of y'all. Yeah, and thanks everybody for being on the show. Yes, yes. yes. Cheers. <laughs> I think Grace speaks for all Grace of us. Grace speaks for all of us. Uh, we say thank you to the guests. Um, but yeah, this was so sick. We're going to raid somebody We're gonna now. Raid T-Pain. We're going to raid nice. our, our good buddy T-Pain. Nice. Good personal friend T-Pain. <laughs> also brought to you by the House of Sod. Yes, Another... T-Pain also brought to you yeah. by the House of Sod. First time I was on this show family. was four years ago. If you can believe That's that. Awesome. That's crazy. Grace is retired. I was sober and then I relapsed and I'm sober again. <laughs> 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 well, that, that whole thing happened. Uh, wow. wait, never mind, T-Pain uh, just went offline. We're going to raid... Oh. oh, we should raid, um... Um, we should raid, uh, Hassan, because he really <laughs> needs it. I don't think he's no, online right he now. Really oh, okay. no, we're gonna raid Sea Dog. Wow, here. shocking. Hey, Sea Dog. Cool. Awesome. Interviewed us on the carpet of the show. Alright, let's, let's do it so that everyone can... I want to go to Portland, Maine. All I have right. a mutual there who's beautiful. It's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Portland, Maine is very nice. Folks, come on back. Yes. What's today? Tuesday? Come on back Thursday night for a brand new episode. And say hi to Sea Dog for us. We'll bye, see everybody. You Thursday. Goodbye. Bye, bye. Bye, everybody. Oh. Yeah. And. <laughs> and. and. Here.